In this lecture, I will demonstrate the capabilities of Mathematica to perform nonlinear fitting, that is, fitting of models that depend in a nonlinear fashion on the adjustable parameters of the model. So in this case, we're going to look at some uh, data of vapor pressure versus temperature, which can be fit by the Antoine equation. And the Antoine equation predicts the log of the vapor pressure as a function of the temperature. And you can see from this expression here that there isn't any way to make that look like a linear dependence on 1 over t or some function of t. The combination a minus b over c plus t is going to inherently be nonlinear uh, dependence on the parameters a, b, and c. So the first step here is to import the um, data into Mathematica from a file called antoine.txt here. And I use this technique of um, concatenating the notebook directory given by this function, sticking it together with this operation uh, onto the string that gives the, the file name in order to produce the full path. Uh, to the file. So the file is sitting in the folder next to the notebook. And I import this as a table and this brings the data in. Vapor pressure as a function of temperature tends to cover a pretty wide range of values and so uh, in order to see the small values and the large values simultaneously on the same plot um, it's often helpful to plot the data semi-log, that is, uh, with the, um, the log of the pressure display, or the pressure displayed on a log axis. That's also consistent with the kind of fit that we're going to do because the Antoine equation, as you recall, predicts the log of the vapor pressure. In any case, for that purpose we use the function list log plot. So data is a list of pairs that's the first argument to list log plot, which is one of the plot functions of Mathematica. And then I've included these options here, which set a frame for the plot, uh, frame axes, uh, frame axis labels, and uh, a label style, which gives a professional looking plot. So we're going to fit this data to the Antoine equation using uh, nonlinear model fit. And because the Antoine equation describes the log of the pressure, I need to take the log of the pressure values to prepare a new set of data which I call log data. So first I make a copy, log data equals data, and then I access the second column of log data which are the pressure values by saying log data all comma two in double brackets to access a part of log data. I take the log of that and put it back in to that very same column. This is the form of the function nonlinear fit, which takes as its first argument the set of data to be fitted. The second argument is the expression for the function to be fitted. The third argument is a list of the parameters to be fitted. And the fourth is the argument that the function depends on. Sometimes it's necessary to provide initial guesses for the parameters, but not in this case. And the result of executing this line is a fitted model, um, which is explicitly shown uh, in the output. The fitted model, as we'll see later, uh, which I've saved in the, in the variable Antoine, um, contains many things and has many features. Um, it can be used to plot with which is the first thing we're going to do, is to show the fitted model against this original semi-log plot of the data. So we do that here with show. Data plot was the variable I saved the original semi-log plot in. And then right here we make a plot of the function that was fitted, which I can access by writing Antoine of t plotting it from 0 to 50 to be compatible with the range here. And because Antoine um, predicts the log of the pressure, it's appropriate to do a linear plot of that function to be shown alongside the semi-log plot of the data. 
and it goes right through the data as you can see. So um, as I said before, the, the fit that results from a nonlinear model fit has many properties. It knows many things about itself. You can ask for the, bet fit, the best fit function. You can ask uh, for the best fit parameters if you need those. You can ask for a parameter confidence interval table, which uh, tells you how well the various parameters are known. Um, it gives a standard error for each parameter and a confidence interval, which is the um, parameter plus or minus um, some number of standard errors, um, such that you can say with 95% confidence, I believe is the default, that your parameter lies in this range. Another thing that the uh, nonlinear fit knows about itself is what its residuals are. So if you ask for the fit residuals of the fit saved in Antoine, you get a list of the difference between the predicted value of log pressure and the actual value that was in the data. So we'd like to make a plot of the residuals. And you'll notice that the list of residuals doesn't include any x values, doesn't include in this case any temperature values, it's just a list of the shifts. So there's various ways of turning that into a, a plot. Um, we need x values and uh, one of those ways is to use uh, data range. So essentially if the points are equally spaced you are telling the um, you're telling the plot, list plot that you're doing here that these data in the list resids should be thought of as uniformly spaced from 0 to 40. And so if your points are uniformly spaced, as they are in this case, then it just uh, places them along an axis and says this one's at 0 and this one's at 40 and the rest are uniformly spaced between. When you have residuals and they're scattered about some line, um, it can be a little hard to see the individual points and an option that makes them slightly easier to see is filling goes to axis goes to is this little arrow here made from minus greater than and for all the options in all of the plots uh, that arrow there is made by typing minus greater than and then it uh, combines into that little symbol so in this case I've set filling to axis and made these very same adjustments in the style of the plot uh, that was done before with frame labels and, uh, and so forth